Hi guys, welcome to Simopedia channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix Wi-Fi problems. You are connected to the Wi-Fi but nothing works. This is the most disturbing problem that you could fix. In this video, I'm going to show you most possibilities to fix this problem. Follow the explanation and thanks for watching. First, you have to check all devices if they are connected to the same Wi-Fi. And you have to see if the Wi-Fi work fine without any problem. So if they are connected to the Wi-Fi and nothing work, you have to check the router. If something wrong with the cable and if it's well connected. So if there is any problem, you have to resist the router to factory settings. You just go behind the router and you will find a small hole. You just pick it with something. And you keep pressing for a few seconds and then it's going to resist to factory settings. After that you have to log in to this link, it's going to show up on top, those numbers. And then you just add the login informations, mostly you will find them behind the router. And then you just set up your, just set up your router. So this could help you. But if you are connected to the Wi-Fi and nothing work only on your Windows, I'm going to show you the solution right now. So just go to the search bar in the bottom and then type desktop. Right click on the mouse and then manage. My laptop in French language, I'm telling you exactly what it is in English. Then you click in system tools. Peripheric right here manage peripheric and then network adapter and then you keep install all those drivers they are not going to be installed from your laptop is only from this part we will get them back in one click so we are going to remove everything And then you go to here, on top, actions, and then search for modifications, click on it, just wait, as you see we got them back in one click, and just give them some time. Just close this window, again just click here, to search for internet options this time, click on it. Then make sure that you select this and then click delete. Make sure that you select everything and then delete. Then click here, content, and then delete SSL. Okay. Then advanced here and then click here reset setting again reset make sure that you select this and then reset now we are going to press windows button and r and then you type temp and then ok it's going to show up this window make sure that you select everything right click on the mouse and then select all and then right click on the mouse and then delete for me I just control A and I press delete button it's the same thing and you just ignore those folders that are not going to be deleted ok close this window again windows button and R and then type temp with uh, those symbols and then ok Again, you have to select all folders that are going to show up and delete. Okay, close this window. So just search for desktop, right click on the mouse and then property. Click here. And then identify in this network 
and there make sure that you select the second option private usage this is very important and then next okay done okay so now it's going to show up restart now or, or restart later i just click restart later now windows button and x uh, and click here again network settings right click on the mouse property and then go here to advanced and then search for address administrator local and then here you have to type one two two exactly like this it's going to show up in the screen this could change the mac address for you if you are using the windows 7 so now we are just going to restart laptop after restarting laptop you just go to navigate to the websites and you see the internet is working nothing wrong with this so this could really fix your problem so guys if you find this video useful for you please subscribe to my channel and if you have any more questions just leave them in the comment section thank you very much for watching